If your family is wondering how they're going to be able to keep up with heating bills as the temperatures fall, well, you're not alone. In fact, roughly 3% of Roanoke homes had help with their heating bills last year. And as temperatures begin to sneak into the 40s, maybe even to the 30s, a little more often, WFXR's Rian Lowndes checked in with people who can help you cover the rise of those bills. 2,900 homes in the city of Roanoke received help last year from the Department of Social Services to keep their homes warm in the winter. Fees have went up. Um, the cost of living has went up, you know, so it's mainly people just being able to afford the bills that are coming in. Maria Akers is a benefit program specialist supervisor at Roanoke City Social Services. They're accepting applications for fuel assistance right now through November 13th. That program helps pay for your primary heat source. And applications for their crisis program, which supplies security deposits, repairs, or replacements on your units, starts November 1st. With fuel benefits, the um, benefit amount is determined based by um, household size, whatever their primary heat source is. Um, if you have somebody elderly or disabled in the home. There's no vulnerability threshold to get help, but you will need to provide your income in your application, which determines how much help you can get. I took the quiz to see what benefits I was eligible for, and it took less than five minutes. But Acres cautions funds for fuel assistance are handed down by the state and may not arrive until December or even January. And the city was only able to fulfill 360 of the 910 crisis applications they received last year. I mean, we, we are here to help as many individuals as we can. Of course, this is a state um, funded program, so we are limited um, to the you know rules and regulations procedures of, of the state. Still, Acres says they doled out about $1.4 million total in assistance last year. In Roanoke, Green Lounge, WFXR News.